Hello everyone to another episode of Terraria. This is Get just a man. quick, quick little episode clip. Oh, I mind very much. And it's just a bunch of stuff for Jason and Carrot. That's has been amazing. Yeah. Okay, are you guys ready? Yeah. Yes. Just... Ma mainly Carrot. Okay. Here's your first thing. Ooh. Your second. Your third. Your Ooh. fourth. Your fifth. Six. Seven. I'm starting to throw them the other way now. Eight. Nine. Everything's going the other way. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And last thing for carrot. If I click, there we go. Nice. Now, Jason, come here. I just finished them inside. I'm literally sitting on you. Good morning. I have to get out the necro boots if I didn't have three FPS because my dad's ass internet. Why are you giving me necro boots? Oh yeah. No, I have no idea. I said these ass boots. I heard necro. I said ass. And I heard necro. Shh. Okay, Steve. Yes. Ready? Yes. Here's your helmet. Necro. <laughs> Here's your, your shield. I think that went to uh. carrot. No, I got it. Necro breastplate. Necro graves. Another thing you mainly want. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not done throwing shit. Oh, oh. Yeah, I, have to, I got two of them. Is that what if I just take a chest and I make it the chest that I'm just gonna throw all my random crap in? Here, here's three chests. Oh, I already have a chest. There's a bunch. So, priorities. Well, there's three more. Don't care about priorities right now. Carrot, this will probably also be good for you. If I would stop oh, lagging. Wait. Oh, it's automatic. Oh. Ooh, that's the Packers one from the field. Gone, right? Oh, hey, this is what it does. It turns him into flaming bats. Yeah, it's really stupid. Okay, I well, think my grandpa's here. I am cutting this little part right here. This is a little snippet of the video. A really long mining trip into hell. And I came back with... I came back with full meteorite armor, uh, meteorite great fury, which I made for myself, 19 extra hell bars, but I also put 40 in here for the mining drill we will be making later. I made also myself an imp staff because I will be going melee and uh, summoner class. For some reason I still have two magic mirrors on me, but I have an infernal potion for when we fight the well of flesh, which is going to have to be in this video now. Got another little present for carrot. In the last episode, uh, I got these bewitching table and um, alchemy table, which obviously are really useful to us. This brewing table, or bewitching table, I'm going to be putting down right now, which so it allows me to um, summon another minion. So now I can get my staff out. And now I have two minions. And that'll help me in the end when we are fighting the boss or the final boss to allow me to have uh, two start or two length of Stardust Dragon instead of one because I have to wear the beefiest armor I can get, which in that time would be beetle armor. Um, so I guess this is the end of this clip. Me and Jason will be building our long bridge to fight uh, the Wall of Flesh, which I don't know for sure if we'll be doing today or tomorrow. Um, t this episode that you guys might will be seeing now is probably going to be late. Oh, and if you guys see, we've also finished our mushroom farms. So in the middle of building them, we learned that if we actuate the muds, you might be able to see um, mushrooms fall out of here. That is them growing. And just getting fall and falling off, and in that it gives us a lot of mushrooms. Let's let me just collect all the ones here. 152 mushrooms. Now let me get the ones from over here, which is probably just as much. 128, 129. This works really fast. Uh, it's really useful. Uh, it basically allows us to get our. Sh uh, 
adjacent shroomite armor in the end. And the bars, like the extra bars for um, the drill that we will be making later. I already have this entire thing mapped out. Basically, how fast we're going to be able to get the drill. So basically, when we get into hard mode, I will be going to go mining into hell. And when I'm done mining, we'll like all the chlorophyte. Um, we will. I will need how much? 120 chlorophyte, so I can make 40 bars of each. Like uh, keep the chlor 40 chlorophyte bars, 40 shroomite, and 40 spectral bars, which is obviously a long way from now. Uh, but it'll go by quite fast. Um, and I, I guess this is the end of this little snippet right here. Um, the main reason why I didn't record me going in hell, or at least speed lapsing it, is because I forgot to turn on my OBS, and the whole time I thought it was on, and I was just kind of talking to myself and Jason, thinking that it was on, but really it wasn't. Another big fail on my part, and... This will be a cut right here. The next thing you should see is me and Jason fighting the Wall of Flesh. Do you want to try doing it in the night? Yeah, sure. Um, Did you get your buffs from the table? Uh, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't forget. It's been like raining every night. It's just stupid. But rain makes it so it's bright. Rain? Rain, uh, what? Raining makes it bright. Also increases the slime spawning. Yeah. I'm just gonna throw down some of these spike balls before we actually. Spike balls only do two damage. That's the reason why I'm not throwing them down. I've got like 900 of them, so. <laughs> I only bought 100. I can do 18. By the way, they despawn. They despawn really. The spike balls despawn fast, so you're gonna just gonna throw them over. And then okay. You ready? Yeah. I'm just continue throwing spike balls. I won't be able to do as much damage as I did before. Alright, I should be able to do more. I should if you throw me down a magic weapon, I can probably do more. I can't do anything while he's doing this right now. I'm gonna miss. This is 11 damage. I think. What armor were you wearing before? Just jungle. What defense did that give you? Oh, uh, hold on, I don't remember. I should probably get some space armor. Did I just give you space armor? No, for like normal. You can have that, because I don't need it for you. Oh, I jumped right into that one. Keep your health full, so... I know. Oh, not much I could do there. The little bees are so much harder to see. I'm gonna die. Just run. I just died, so it's gonna be like two hours before I come back in. Oh! Oh! Maybe I'll just survive like this. Until he starts doing his stupid attacks. Okay, man. We're in? Mm -hmm. That's six seconds to heal. Die. I can't see his stingers at all. Heal! Oh, dang it. Bees, a lot of them. Yeah, I can feel them. Oh gosh, he's charging you in the air. I can't see nothing. He's got like a hundred health left, I think I just saw. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, I did it. I did it, Mom. Getting Holy attacked by something, I don't know what we're getting attacked by. 
I got ten bottle of honey. We got the Queen Bee trophy. Can I open the treasure bag? Yeah. Cool beans. Da 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 point da increases the strength da 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 the uh this thing, hold on. It's a bee pack. Pizza sandwich. I got a, a honeycomb. I got a bunch of bee wax. No bee gun and a beekeeper. Do you want that? I have a beekeeper. I have one. Wait, how do you have a beekeeper? Because I got a bag too. We will get a bag. Oh, cool beans. Did you get a bee gun? No. I got basically everything you got. Don't you have to make the bee gun? Uh, maybe. Hold on, can you just protect me for a second? Because I honestly don't remember. Um, hopefully, that'd be nice. Okay, well, I'm gonna just end this little cut thing here. Hello, everyone. I'm here for another little snippet of coming down to the Crimson. Uh, I am coming down to make my sword. My pre-hard mode, pre mode sword. Which I will be keeping for a, uh, a decent amount of time. Uh, it is kind of obvious of what I'm making. Making the night's edge. Obvious. Uh, I've been grinding for that stuff for a little bit. Carrot helped me get the uh, leaf blade. Muramasa, you guys saw where I got that from. And yeah. Muramasa, you guys saw where I got that from. The blood butcher, it's kind of obvious where I got that from. And the last sword, the fiery sword. I think you guys saw me make that when I got all of my bars and everything from hell. So this is just a little, another little snippet into the big video, 20 minute video. Uh, I hope you guys like this little snippet part. And if you guys like these little, again, snippets of important things like me making the Knight's Edge, it would tell me, because there will be more than one playthrough of Terraria. So I, I know if you guys just want me to do this type of thing again, like a, uh, like snippets, or do you guys want me to record the whole thing so you guys understand what's going on? Because just before this, I have a snip of me and Carrot, who actually decided to come on for once. Uh, get and fight and kill the Queen Bee. We have just finished killing the Queen Bee. And, um, we got what he finally wanted. I got a trophy from it, so I'm quite happy, even though I'm, like, one trophy off. No, I'm three trophies off. I need to get the fishing trophies, that's it. And I have every trophy for Terraria. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Also, the day you guys will be seeing this, me and Jason will be starting a, um, Borderlands 2 Let's Play, us doing Borderlands 2. Uh, it'll be quite fun for both of us since we just got to Overpowerment 8 in Borderlands, and uh, we won't just be doing the DLCs or not just the not just the story mode. We will, we will be doing all of the DLCs, and I will be solo solo lead doing the uh, Headhunter packs by myself because Jason doesn't really want to buy them, and there's no real need to buy them. I just had 120 bucks extra on Steam, so I'm like, meh, I'll buy them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little part of Terraria, uh, and yeah, made the Knight's, made the Knight's Edge quite useful. Uh, probably one of the best weapons when I get the, the broken hero sword, so I can make the true Knight's Edge. Around 130 damage when I have good armor on. So, goodbye.